once when a supermarket opened in a small town, there were two ladies talking together, and one of them said to the other, you know, I found it so wonderful that we have the, the supermarket because I just take the cart, I go around the aisles, and whatever catches my eye, I just pull it down from uh, the shelves and put it in my cart. And in one session, I can do all my shopping, and I don't need to go running around from store to store. And in reality, many people do so. And the supermarket mentality is adopted. Spiritually speaking, we have adopted this mentality a long time ago. And I'll give you an example. Jennifer enters church a few minutes before the mass starts, and she wants to say the rosary. She wants to, to go uh, to confessions and receive Holy Communion. Besides that, she wants to be present for the Mass. She wants to get updated about the latest gossip of the neighborhood from the one sitting next to her. And of course, she also wants to pray <clears throat> for her kids, for the sick. And if she can spare a minute or two, perhaps, she would also be praying for her husband. And she, she, would, she would tell you, well, this is wonderful. In less than an hour, I can do all these things. And of course, she sometimes complains because the priest will take a minute, a minute or two extra during the homily. But for her, the fact that she can do all these things, it is something wonderful. And like Jennifer, there are many who have adopted the supermarket mentality. You get everything, everything done in one session. In a supermarket, you also find a wide choice. If you don't like Parmesan cheese, you can get the Romano cheese or the Swiss cheese or something else. And the same mentality is in our spirituality. You like the novenas, I prefer adoration. I am a fan of St. Jude, you are a fan of St. Anthony. And perhaps you prefer more Father Tom saying the Mass while I prefer, prefer Father Steve. You know, you have a choice in everything. And there is more than that, because even the sins seems to have been included in this mentality, in the supermarket mentality. And I cannot hear others swearing, but at the same time, I don't bother spending hours gossiping. A bad thought will keep me awake, but it doesn't bother me that I'm not on good terms with my neighbor. <clears throat> I feel sort of funny if I find a $20 note and I put it in my pocket, where trying to cheat a client of mine and getting a hundred bucks more doesn't really mean anything to me. In other words, also the sins have their luck. Some have a battle waged against them, while others seem to be tolerated or accepted. But there, there is someone who doesn't tolerate sin and doesn't accept it. And this someone is Jesus. In today's gospel we read, see here for three years, I have come looking for fruit in this fig tree and still I find none. Cut it down, why should it be waste, wasting the soil? You have been baptized a long time ago and you didn't change a little bit. What does that mean? It means that you are living a superficial life, that the religion that you are living is built on sand. The gardener asked the, the master of the vineyard, let it alone for one more year until I dig around it. And you are living this one more year. And the father who is the gardener is once again digging around you 
and putting manure on, on you. This time, will, will he be finding fruit in the tree of your life? Now let us stand and make our prayers to God, our Father. As we come to this holy place to praise our God, let us pray asking for our needs and for those of the world, that the church may continue to announce the message of repentance and in our conversion, we pray to the Lord. Lord that those burdened by guilt may come to experience peace through true reconciliation with you and with your people, we pray to the Lord. Lord that those oppressed by unjust governments may have their liber liberty restored to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord that our lives may be enriched by the love we share with one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord that those who have died may enter into the kingdom of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Forgiving God, hear our prayers. May we be renewed in our love for one another and in the service to our brothers and sisters. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. This will be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, may these gifts which we now offer to show our belief and our love be pleasing to you. May they become for us the Eucharist of Jesus Christ, your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. In love you created man, in justice you condemned him. But in your mercy, you redeemed him through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels and all the choirs of heaven worship in awe before your presence. May our voices be one with theirs as they sing with joy the hymn of your glory. <laughs> 